Hi guys, uh, Terry here again. Uh, welcome to another video on matrices. In this video, we're going to be looking at adding matrices. Now, before you can add any matrix, right, or any matrices, we must have the same order. So in the previous video, I explained what is meant by the order of a matrix, right? Now, in order for me to be able to add the matrices, they have to be of the same order. In this particular matrix here, we have a two by one matrix, and the second matrix is a two by two matrix. If we look carefully, you realize that the order of the matrix is different. If it is different, it is not possible to add those matrices, right? So that's an important concept before you decide to add a matrix. Let's say I have a matrix E, and this matrix is given by 4, 2, 1, 0. And I have another matrix here, B, which is given by 1, 0, 2, 1. And I want to figure out what is matrix A plus B, right? Now, these two matrices, we need to check the order of the matrix. Now, if I check the order of the matrix here, I realize that A, this particular matrix here, right? It's a two by two matrix. I have two rows and I have two columns. That's a two by two matrix. The second matrix B is also a two by two matrix. So that's important. Since both of them have the same order, I am able to add both matrices. So in this case here, what we do, so we have four, two, one, zero, and I'm going to add that to matrix B, which is one, zero, two, one. Now, the key thing here is that we're going to add corresponding elements. So this 4 corresponds with this one here. So this is going to be 4 plus 1. Then I'm going to add 2 plus 0. So that's here. Right? Then I'm going to add 1 plus 2. So this is going to be 1 plus 2. And the last one is going to be 0 plus 1. So this is 0 plus 1. Right? And your final answer now, 4 plus 1 is going to give you 5. 2 plus 1 is going to give you 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, and 0 plus 1 gives me 1, right? So I've just added corresponding elements of the matrix A and the matrix B. Now let's say I had another matrix here. A is given by 2, 1, 4. And I want to add it to a matrix B, which is given by 1, 4. 0, 2. First thing we need to check is to make sure that the order of the matrix is the same. So in this particular matrix here, right, you have one row and three columns. So it's a one by three matrix. That's the order of that matrix. For this one here, again, we have one row and three columns. So it's a one by three matrix. So if I want to work out A plus B, right, what we add in is 2, 1, 4, plus 1, 0, 2. And what you're doing, you're adding corresponding elements. So we're going to add 2 plus 1. That's the first number. Then 1 plus 0. That's the second number. And then we're going to add 4 plus 2. And that's my third number. Right? So my final answer is going to be 3, 1, 6. That's my answer here. Right? So I've just added two 1 by 3 matrices. Right? Now these are, are pretty simple. The problem that students have is when we have a matrix where we have positive and negative numbers. So if I have 1, minus 1, 2, 4, and I have a matrix B here, which is given by minus 4, 0, um, let's say minus 3, and 1. Right? And you want to add these two matrices. So A plus B right, is going to be 1 minus 1, 2, 4, plus matrix B, which is minus 4, 0, minus 3, 1. And we're going to add corresponding elements. So you're going to add this to this. So this is going to be 1 plus minus 4. Then I'm going to add this to this. That's minus 1 plus 0. Then I'm going to add 2 to minus 3. So that's 2 plus minus 3. And then I have 4 plus 1. 
Now, this is where students make mistakes sometimes, right? They have trouble with the negative numbers. So 1 plus minus 4 is the same as saying 1 minus 4. So this here is going to be minus 3. Minus 1 plus 0 is going to give you minus 1. 2 plus minus 3 is the same as saying 2 minus 3, which is minus 1. And then minus 3 plus, sorry, 4 plus 1 is going to give me 5, right? So this here is my final answer, right? Now, these are the questions that give students trouble. The questions that have the negative signs in them. For this one here, let me try the next one. Let's say I have P is equal to 0 um, minus 4, 1, 2. And I have Q is given by, let's say, um, minus 1, 2, 0, minus 1, right? And I want to work out. Now, remember, we have to check to see if the order of the matrix is the same. This is a 2 by 2 matrix. This is also a 2 by 2 matrix, right? So if I want to work out P plus Q, right, it's going to be P, which is 0, minus 4, 1, 2, plus minus 1, 2, 0, minus 1. So we're going to add corresponding elements. So this plus this. So that's 0 plus minus 1. Then this plus this, which is minus 4 plus 2. Then this plus this, that's 1 plus 0. And then 2 and minus 1. So 2 plus minus 1. So when I add this, 0 plus minus 1 is the same as saying 0 minus 1. So this is minus 1. Minus 4 plus 2 is going to give you minus 2. 1 plus 0 is 1. And 2 plus minus 1 is the same as saying 2 minus 1, which is 1. Right? So this is my answer here for P plus Q. Right? So, guys, um, if you like my videos and you want me to keep doing this, please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to share. Right? And yes, I do give online classes. Right, guys? You take care.